All right, Blades. Welcome. This is Dragon Star Varnir, or yeah, Varnir, Varnir, something like that. To it, so new game. Uh, they have a bunch of DLC that was free, so downloaded it. Please select the difficulty level. Difficulty level Inferno can now be accessed. Those DLC. Enemies' HP and stats will be boosted to their limits. Makes battles extremely difficult. The XP and money earned will increase greatly. <sighs> we'll start at normal. Area, where dragon bones tower over the land. The Holy Emperor, supreme ruler of all, built this empire on the faith of the savior of the world, the Holy God, Varnir. Though it appeared this empire was on its way to achieving prosperity, an evil shadow was cast upon the land by the enemies of God. Vicious dragons, who rule the forest, were kept within the bodies of powerful wielders of magic, witches. The Empire created the Knights of Requiem to carry out the will of God, to destroy the lineage of these cursed witches. The witches went into hiding, searching for a way to fight against their inevitable deaths, for a way to end their living hell. We're here. I can't believe I got separated from them. That's just my luck. Ah! It's not working at all. It seems. You need to hang on just for a little longer. Manessa, why in the world are you trying to help this fool? He literally spends his days trying to hunt us down. I'm not being generous here. I have every intent of using him. The knights captured Laponette. If he's really one of them, he should know where they're keeping her. I still don't get it. I'm sure we can get that information somewhere else. Why save him? He doesn't deserve to be helped, no matter the intent. Him, all the knights, 
They deserve to have their flesh consumed by dragons. Okay, but think about it. What we have here is an opportunity. What's the point of his death if it doesn't benefit Laponette right now? If we take him as our prisoner, we can probably leverage a deal with the Knights, right? We should do everything we can to protect ourselves and the ones we care about. <sighs> I think we're done talking now. Let's take out that dragon. I guess we have to. All right, let's kill it. If the battlefield split into three levels, top, middle, and low. Move between levels by pressing that, uh, select a command, so on and so on. Physical skills can only be executed on enemies on the same level. A uh, magic skill can attack enemies on different levels. That's cool. Devour is a special skill in which you consume the enemy. If successful, you gain the enemy's abilities via their dragon core. Character that executed the devour skill will be the one to obtain the dragon core. Make sure to consistently devour new enemies. Lower enemy and HP will grant a higher chance of success. Fear level will increase, granting a higher chance of success. Well, easy enough. I'm going to win this. I'll do my best. All right. trophies I feel stronger all right so what do we do with this one if we leave him be he'll die yeah we're definitely going to have to use some healing magic on him <sighs> it isn't working are we too late hey snap out of it we're over here being nice enough to save you. If you know what's good for you, you won't die on us, you idiot. Let's try again, okay? <sighs> oh no, his breathing is getting weaker. Is there anything else we can do? <sighs> what a waste of energy. We'll have to figure out our problem on our own. Okay, well, let's just kill him and get going. Kill, kill, kill. Is that all you ever say? You're so narrow-minded. Come on, look at him. It's not like there's anything we can do for him. Maybe if he was a witch, he could drink some dragon's blood. But it wouldn't work on him like it would work on us. Wait, that's not a bad idea. Huh? What do you mean? Humans won't react to dragon blood the same way as us, so they won't be able to gain magic powers. But what if it still worked? Even just a tiny bit? You're suggesting we let him drink dragon blood? Well, we have a fresh dragon corpse right here. This guy is going to die if we don't do anything. So I think any chance at a miracle is worth a shot. You do have a point. We need something to carry the blood. Hmm. <sighs> w what the hell are you doing? You're gonna use your mouth? Mm -hmm. 
king! <sighs> Father! Run! The dragon! Somebody! Anybody! Help! What the? <sighs> Uh, where am I? What happened to the dragon? How am I still alive? Wow, I really didn't think it would work. Yeah, pretty unexpected. Who are you? Wait, your outfits, your hair, you two are witches! Wow, he can move pretty quickly already. I think he's gonna be okay. Mm, it's a shame about the attitude problem. Glad your little experiment worked. Now, let's kill him. We went through all that trouble of saving him, and you want to kill him? Save me? You're right. My wounds... They're... healed? That's impossible. Did you... really heal me? Yes, we did. You know who I am, don't you? And you heal me anyway? Yep, that's right. What do you want? Our dear friend was captured by the Knights of Requiem. You know as well as I do that they're going to torture her. But that's not going to happen. Because you're going to give us her- Others. I was alone when you found me, wasn't I? I got separated from my troop. And I have no idea where they are right now. Good effort, Manessa. Let's kill him. Kari Karo, no. He's still worth something to us. <sighs> right. Okay, bud. I hope you know you're coming with us. If you say no, then... I'll do whatever you want. Oh, someone's feeling cooperative today. I may have survived that dragon, but only barely. I wouldn't stand a chance against two witches right now. Smart choice. Okay, let's go. All right. Let's escape. Ooh. Leave it to me. Find the hidden treasure. Leave it to me. Leave okay, it to they me. Seem to each have different ability. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. This looks useful. Hurry up, stop dragging your feet. I can't let my guard down around these two. They might have saved me, but I know they're out to hurt the knights however they can. I have to escape. But I don't even know where we are. You bastard. <laughs> Jeez, she's very forward, huh? You're trying to plot and escape, aren't you? What are you talking about? You're not fooling anyone. I've seen the way you've been looking around. You're trying to figure out where we are. I won't stop you, so go ahead, run. It'll give me a reason to kill you. I have no choice but to go along with this for now. I need them to trust me. I'm not plotting anything, I promise. <laughs> You're not fooling anyone, you idiot. Anyway, what's your name? It's Sefi. What are your names? I'm... Menessa? Mindsa? What the hell are you doing? Don't tell him our names. We'll be fine. He should at least know the names of the people that saved him. Ugh. Listen, Worm, I'm telling you this so you remember the name of the witch that saved you. I am... Car... Carcaro? Carcaro? I feel like I'm butchering these names already. Ugh. Got it. Menaza and Kakaro. Kakaro. It's gonna bug me. 
Listen to me, Sefi. I did not learn your name. Because I wanted to become your friend. You hunt us. I despise you. Uh, I shouldn't have to take this from these idiots. I joined the knights to destroy both dragons and witches. I shouldn't get too friendly. I see those wheels turning, Zephyr. All I can say is, you better keep your mouth shut if you plan on keeping it out of here alive. Getting out of here alive. Fine, whatever. Hey, what's going on? Yeah! <laughs> What the hell? I'm burning up. I tell this lizard to keep his mouth shut, and what does he do? He starts screaming. What an idiot. Okay, let's kill him. Wait, something's wrong. What? What's just happened? Hey, is that... Yeah. Ah! Mark, what are you talking about? What is this? It looks like the mark of a witch. You're right, it's almost identical. What are you talking about? It can't be, that's impossible. It really does look like our mark, but how can that be? What do you think, Karako? Kar wow, Kakaro. He is human. And I've never heard of any male having her mark. Maybe it's some kind of mutation? No, no. This just used to be a little birthmark. How did it get so big? I wonder if giving him dragon blood had anything to do with it. What? What did you say? We tried healing magic on you, but it didn't do anything, so we took a chance and made you drink dragon blood. It has healing properties for witches, so we thought, why not? That can't be. This is insane. No one told you to do that. Listen, you wouldn't even be here right now if we didn't do that, so shut up. Monsters. How can you make me drink that filth? This is a, a mutation. I could never become a witch. That would never happen to me. Oh no, please. Just let me wake up. I don't want to be, be like this. Please, just wake me up from this, this nightmare. Do you hear this guy? I think I'm offended. Calm down. It's not like we've ever seen this before either. Not once have I heard of a mutation happening to anybody. At this point, all we know for sure is that your mark looks like it belongs to a witch. If you really have become a witch, you'd be able to use magic. Magic. That's true, if you have the mark, but no magical powers to back it up, then you couldn't actually be a witch. It's a pretty easy way to test if you have magical powers or not. Let's try it. I honestly would rather not know me could actually become a witch just by drinking dragon blood. So, do you want to find out if you really are a witch? Fine. Show me. Show me. So, how do I find out if I have magical powers? It's easy. If you can fly, then you're a witch. What? It'll be faster to just show you. Kakaro, let's show him. Wait, if we both fly, he might try and br make a break for it. Right, okay. Watch him for a second. You got it. Why is she picking up her staff? I don't think she's going to attack me. But I can't let my guard down just yet. 
Look, you just concentrate and direct your energy, your magical power into the staff. Just like this. She's floating. This is child's play for a witch. Your turn, Zephy. I don't have a staff. Just give it a shot. Follow my directions and we'll be able to tell if you have a magic or not. Hmm. If that's the case, I'll use my sword. I think she was doing something like this. Sword. It's floating! <laughs> oh my. What? No way. Well, what are you standing there for? Hurry and get on. Well, okay, here I go. F flying. Typical male, he just learned how to fly and now he thinks he's a hotshot. Hey, come on, it's my first time. I'm a little excited. What did you expect? You pay close attention, you idiot. This is how you fly. Oh, she's flying so low to the ground. Uh, it must have taken so long to master. That's right, decades, in fact. Now, bow down to me, you. Worm. Oh, come now. Anyone can do that. Don't go acting all high and mighty. Anyone can do that? I can barely keep myself from falling off. <laughs> You're so lame. Uh, what's the matter? Are you mad? Why don't you do something about it and fly it? Outfly me then, huh? Well, I, uh... Kakaro, he's not going to have much magic left if he uses it all up flying right now. Alright. Okay, you bastard. I'll let you go. For now. Oh, okay. I should be more troubled that I'm flying, but it just feels so good. Even if I have these powers now, they could be useful to the knights. This could change everything for us. Okay, we're done with our little test. It's obvious. You have powers. So if you have magical powers and the mark of a witch, there's no way around it, Zephy. You're a witch. I can't believe this is happening. You felt the magic, right? Yeah. There's no going back now. No matter how much you don't like it, this is who you are. I knew it had to be said, but it hurts. If I could use this power to destroy all of the witches, what would the knights think of me when it's... When it... Huh. Crap. How'd the dragons get so close? There's no time to run. We have to fight. I guess we don't have a choice. Hey, you're helping us. Did I stutter? You're healed already, right? I know you're in shock and all, but you're gonna have to protect yourself, got it? Yeah. Come on. It's still flying around. Snap out of it and get ready. I think we're done talking now. It's
I'll do my best. Brace yourself. Let's go. That was easy. I'm sure you figured it out, but when we fight dragons, we put barriers up in the air. Dragons are able to run across the air as if it were land. Some of them swim through it as if the air was water. plan on staying alive, you can never let your guard down against a dragon. Never. Oh god, skipping again. Sorry, I keep pressing that button. Uh... Kakara, leave it alone. He can barely handle what he is going through right now. Whose side are you even on? Don't forget what this bastard has done. Come on, let's go find that camp. Treasure chests and harvest points will be seen when exploring dungeons. Enemies are also lurking. Get the gist of it played enough of these games to know. Huh. Oh, okay, so you could destroy these. Shatter. Huh. 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 This seems useful. Chapter 2, verse 3 of the Holy Transcripts. And begin! Witches, Witches are filled! They will stop at nothing to destroy the future of this planet and the innocent people in it! And how do we deal with these creatures of filth once we have captured them? Make them repent! They will pay for their transgressions with their blood! I've recited this so many times. I've discussed philosophies with Grand so many times. Oh. oh, Commander Sh He sure is relentless. I know you'll be tempted, but don't run your bath too hot, so you can soak for a while. Shake off the fatigue, you know? Good tip. Thanks, man. Hey, Zephy, can I ask you something? Do you have to ask? Spit it out. We all have our reasons for joining the Knights. I've always wondered, what's yours? Dragons are responsible for taking away any happiness I ever had. So are the witches. So as soon as I was able, I got my sword and came knocking on the gate so I could do my part in taking them all down. Wow. You've gone through a lot. For me, I, I come from generations of people who worship Varnir, the Holy God. I feel a little guilty. I don't have the same passion about it that you do. Oh, come on. Guilty for what? If you become a knight, your family would be so proud, wouldn't they? You're walking a noble path. The right path. You really don't need to talk down on yourself like that. Thank you. You're right. No matter the reason, it's gonna be okay. As long as we kill the witches. I became a knight to defeat witches. 
But here I am, becoming one. How ironic can fate be? Why am I being challenged like this? Make us pay with our lives, huh? What a load of crap. Do they even know us? We never willingly attack anything besides dragons. I know, but don't give in to it. Don't waste your energy. But still, how many of these idiots are actually thinking for themselves? Let's just keep moving, okay? Okay. These two threaten me, but never hurt me. I'm still here. Could it be they're not evil? What are you standing around for? Move! Uh, right. No, it can't be. My friend, my comrade, the one that tried to capture a witch. He was almost killed. I'm sure the other troops haven't gone far. If I yell, they'll be able to hear me. What's wrong? You're quiet. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Good. I can't have you dying on me until we get Laponette back. I don't know what they plan to do with me, but they did save my life. I won't turn them in yet. I need to know if they really are evil. Let's go! Ooh, this seems useful. Get out of here! Leave it to me! Leave it to me! Find the hidden treasure! Let's go! I got it! Huh. I got it! Eight. Let's pump it up! My turn! Alright. Uh, let's try just attacking. No doubt. I got this. Next! Let's go! Jesus, I killed that one hit. One! Two! Prepare yourself. I'll protect you. I'm on it! So, devour. Get ready. My. There we go. Hey, Ooh. you. That was a close hey. one. I feel you're the being power. Bad. I can become stronger. I feel stronger. So far, it seems like we're leveling pretty quickly. So this is one of the games with a difficulty where I'll take that. You adjust it to get more stronger. Yeah. Huh. What the? There. Huh. Oh wait. <sighs> Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Find the hidden treasure. Oh, cool. I'll keep it. Let's leave it to. Huh. This might be useful. I'm taking it. Leave it to me. Well, that troop from earlier meet up with the main troop? I'm really not too sure. Don't if you know any, know something, tell us. I don't know anything. Why don't you go follow them if you want to know so badly? Do I look stupid to you? You want me to leave so you can get Manessa alone. You're plotting something. Kakaro. Quiet. What? What is it? I heard something. Who's ready to kill some dragons and make some more money? That sounds really close. Huh? My, what an unexpected place to find such an unexpected face. Too late to hide. And you're with the ravens. Two witches and a knight of Requiem, huh? This is an odd group. These witches are holding you hostage, aren't they? Man, the Empire totes 
unites has some elite force, but here you are being bossed around by witches like some chump. Come on, let's take out these witches and save the little chump from his misery. I mean, we'll have to kill him for his own good. I don't think anyone could bear to live with the shame of being a witch's prisoner. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I like to see you try. Let's get him. They're flying. What is this? I can sense draconic power? There's some device on their hips. That's that's how they're flying. They dissect dragons, they kill and make weird things out of them. I had no idea this is what they've been doing. This isn't some weird thing, it's called an enchanted tool of flight. But I'm not about to start talking to you about it. You're gonna have to fight. I'm gonna help you too. Oh, come on, put that sword away. We're both protecting civilians from dragons and witches, right? Your kind of like our combat. Yeah, right. You're an enemy of the Empire and a pest to the Knights of Requiem. I should kill you right here. No. Oh. Where are my manners? Forgive me, oh wise noble knight. Please save it. Well, I guess we'll just have to slaughter all of ya. Makes no difference to me. Don't hold back, men. Take them all out. Watch out. Watch Get out. Never lose. I can get even stronger than this. Yeah, imagine if we were on hard difficulty, we'd be leveling up like tons. I want to save. Every I'm gonna get even more powerful. D damn it! How dare you! <laughs> Are you kidding? You're pathetic. Watch out! More incoming! Huh? Oh, what the hell, guys? And you call yourselves ravens? I, I'm sorry, sir. Turandal! A knight of Requiem. And what in the world are you doing with these witches? That's none of your business. <laughs> You're all bark, aren't you? 
You bastards! You beat up my comrades! Sir Durandal, let's get him! Jaiga, stand down! We're on the hunt for big fish. We don't have time for these guns. But, but, sir! All right, you bastards, let's get out of here. If you're too hurt to move, well, tough! We're leaving you behind! Where are you going? You're not going to tell the knights about this, are you? Do I look like a snitch? Come on. You witches aren't very bright, are you? Besides, no hard feelings, of course. Well, wait for me, sir! You bastards! We'll settle this later! And there they go. Who was that? Durandal, leader of the Ravens. He's killed over 10,000 dragons. That isn't an exaggeration. He's known as the Grand Dragon Killer. 10,000? It's all he cares about. His whole life revolves around killing them. He kills them, dissects them, and creates these magical gadgets that'll help him kill even more dragons. I'm so glad he left. I don't think we would have been able to take out Durandal. Our former buddies. I don't like that. What a bastard. I hope he gets eaten. The dragons are raised in the body of a witch, and are born by eating through their stomachs. Witches see dragons as killers, but Durandal sees them as one and the same. So we have the Knights of Requiem and the Ravens to look out for. I'm worried about Laponet. We need to hurry. Yeah, let's move. Hey, who made you the leader? <laughs> Sir Durandal, are you sure about this? <laughs> the hell are you talking about? They really did a number on our men, sir. How can you just let them go like that? Are you seriously bitching to me about this? I am their keeper. A man is responsible for setting his own school. Survival of the fittest, it might as well be a sin to be weak in a world like this. It worked so long to get here, and now I'm exactly where I want to be. Me, an orphan, who used to cry every night for his mommy. Well, um, but sir... Come on, man. Let's do this. Uh, uh, wait for me, sir. Symbol attacks. What? Stay no, alert. What? Get ready. Dragonfly. How's this? I'm on it. Dragonblood. Damn, see, yeah, we're leveling like I'm gonna every get even fight. More powerful. Kind of crazy. Dragon is now available. Summary and now is now available. Oh, that pretty menu. I actually kind of like this menu. So these things, oh yeah, these DLC things are way stronger. Alrighty then. Hell mushroom. <laughs> it's a gift. Interesting. Okay. So, 
equipment. And I kind of get how equipment works. Holy. Okay. That's. Wow. Celestial Maiden Sword F. Sure. I had played in this game for more story, if you guys were curious. That's why I'm okay with equipping this stuff. It's not a big bothersome for me. So far, though, I'm really liking this. Uh... Yeah, we'll give you that one. So, when I saw this game... When I saw my uh, wife playing it, it looked really good. To that point where I was like, oh uh, yeah, I definitely want to play this. It's definitely glad I get a shot to actually play this. Wait, what was the level? Level is 399 is the max. Damn. And that's with me getting that free cap increasement. Uh, there is two more level cap increasements you can get. I'm not too sure on how high the level you can get in this game. But a lot of Idea Factory games is you can get really high level. Uh, there's a lot of playability to these games too. Dragon cores. Get the gist of that. Just like a spear grid, basically. gives you, huh? This fire sword. And a lot of farming. So, the one thing that also attracted me is it does have a spear grid-ish, like Final Fantasy X setup. But, you don't get them until you devour the creature. So, like, with him, I devoured the dragonfly. And it looks like they all get the Demizigant, regardless. But yeah, like, with her next, I'll have to do the Dragonfly, if I want her to have the Dragonfly ability. Hard hit. Oh, there's an option to unlock all. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. So those two are done. Set. So you also set them in. So certain abilities you can actually choose not to have, which I think is really cool. Uh, not a lot of games do this. And when I saw this, I was like, 
I have to play it. Like, I just have to. Cool. So now that we got that done. And it looks like this is the full map. Good to know. I guess I'll hold on to this. Find the hidden treasure! I guess I'll hold on to this. This looks useful. This looks useful. I'll keep it. Yeah. This looks useful. I uh, was definitely excited to play this. Not too sure Let's how go. long it is, though, because my wife went through Get out of a here. lot of chapters in a matter of, like, minutes. Leave it it's to crazy. Me. Leave it to me. What? Let's do this. Prepare yourself. Dragon, it's coming, you cursed dragon. Damn you. Lend me your strength. This is intense. I'm gonna eat you up. Yeah. My turn. Not yet. My turn. Shouldn't have that was too much. My turn. Dragon Frog. Let's keep on going. This is a crazy feeling. But uh, so yeah, I think through config. <laughs> Oh, there it is. So yeah, we could change the difficulty. We could apply it to hard. Might actually do that pretty early on. Unlock that. Moon sucks. And the Draconian Rock Drop, huh? in the wrong button for the menu. Uh, equipment. Interesting. Find the hidden treasure! This looks useful. But yeah, when I saw my wife playing this, it's like, oh yeah. Yeah, I gotta play this. this Look too awesome. Everyone stay alert. Let's go. Alright. First what? attack. Get ready. Mine! Yeah, force dragon. I'm gonna get even more powerful. Jeez. So yeah, you could definitely farm these cores, which is kind of cool. HP... Just a... what?
Oh, that won't cost too much. Gotcha. What is it? Physical attack. Huh. Yeah, but you unlocked a passive. Keep it up! This is a crazy feeling. I want to save everyone. I'm gonna get even more powerful. Dang. Level, level up central right there. Ah, Robin. <laughs> Baby, that's like right in my ear, sweetie. and the knights are both part of the Empire, right? But why do the ravens seem so different from the knights? Because they are. The Knights of Requiem are an elite task force dedicated to hunting witches and work directly with the Empire. The ravens have no loyalty to anyone and are just delinquents who happen to share the Empire's vision of eliminating dragons. Hmm, I see. Did you really not know this? You were talking to them like you knew them. I've run into them a few times out in the woods, but I've never actually spoken to them before. I have a contact who's mentioned that the Ravens just use people for their own personal gain. They really do seem like a bunch of lowlifes. Wait, hold on. You have a contact who's connected to the Ravens? 
Well, in a manner of speaking. They're connected to a lot of groups. They sell information they learn to anyone who wants to buy it. That sounds so... crooked. Do you think it's wise to have someone like that around? Well, sure. But I don't think a single person in Varneria actually trusts him. We only tell him information we're okay with leaking. And I'm sure he's able to keep some secrets to himself. It would be pretty bad for his business otherwise. I see. Well, if that's the nature of his business, he must know what he's getting himself into. Yeah, definitely. Otherwise, I'm sure his head would be separated from his body by now. Hey, you two! Someone's coming! <laughs> oh, hello there. She's a witch, right? Is she the one you're looking for? No. I don't know who this is. W what? So she's not a witch? It's too dangerous for her to be out here. We need to take her back to town. Huh? What are you talking about? We don't have time for that. But... Kari Karo said she didn't know her. But that doesn't mean she's not a witch. Hey, can I ask you a question? Looking at your hair, and that outfit, you're a witch, right? Who are you? Ah, it makes sense now. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> well, I guess you didn't need me, huh? I'll get going then. What was that all about? No idea. How dare she just ignore me like that? Next time I see her, I'm gonna kill her! It seems like she kept her promise. Who could have imagined that he would be walking the forest with the witches? It's a little different from the scenario we imagined, but I guess it works. The time has finally arrived for the next chapter of history to be woven. Well, that's ominous. There! Don't let your guard down! Let's go! So, does it show? I would hope so. What? Get ready! Wait, there's a check mark on him. Defending! I'll do my best. There isn't on her. Okay. It's mine. I won't ever lose. So was that right then? No, uh, it was okay. That's good to know. This looks useful. Interesting. Let's go. Leave it to believe it. Let's go. Get out of here. Huh. I got it. Whoa. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. There. Dragon stone unlocked. Forced to judgment. Depths. Each dungeon contains a dragon stone. Use dragon stones to fully heal your party and save your progress. Dragon stone can be used by touching it additionally. Okay.
Alright, sorry about that. I was learning if it was going to be one of those saves. It is. So I do apologize for that. But pretty cool. Go ahead and continue. It looks like this might be a boss fight. I can see the last of the knights. Alright, this is where it gets tricky. We have to get Lafonette back. Yeah. We can't let our guard down. Hey, we should tie him up. All right, he's a knight, so he should have something we can use here. Hey, stop it. Hmm, this rope should do the trick. And uh, I'll be taking this too. This idiot, going through all my stuff. Put your hands behind your back. <sighs> That should do it. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You're gonna show up with me as a hostage and try to trade me for your friend? Yep, that's the plan. I see. I'm sure the knights would release her in order to save me. But as soon as the witches let their guard down, I'm positive the knights will make a move and capture them all. I didn't have enough time to find out if these witches were actually evil or not. Oh well. We're out of time. Vanessa, I'm ready when you are. Okay, let's go. Hey, wait! A witch! Commander! I found a witch! Oh, it even came with a bonus. Commander! Hey, are you really the commander? Are you stupid? Yes, I am Corberia. You might know me as the Savage Witch Hunter. What can I do for you girls? What a grand name for another one of the Empire's dogs. You listen to me. We have one of your knights in our custody. If you want him back, you're going to give us our friend. Your friend? Oh. You mean this one? Lafonette! You're okay! You assholes! You didn't mean to bind her up like that! Vanessa! Karikaro! I'm sorry for the trouble! Release her immediately! Unless, of course, you want me to take out this grand knight of yours! <laughs> When did she grab my knife? My, what a feeble attempt at negotiation. What? Go right ahead. Do what you will. He is of no worth to me. What? Commander! He would have been better off if the dragons had just killed him. What a useless knight. But, Commander... I can't believe I feel sorry for him. Commander, wait! You're going to abandon Zephy? Watch your mouth, Gran! The Commander doesn't need any lip from you. That's my friend! Commander, please, reconsider what you're doing. Gran... Wait... That sound... <laughs> Dragon! It's huge! Of all times! Move it, you good for nothing knights! Listen up, bastards! Kill the lord of this forest! And if any knight gets in the way, you better kill them too! My, if it isn't the Grand Dragon Killer! Are you planning on making a fool of me in front of my own men? I'll play with you later, Corberia. I wouldn't want you to break a nail. What the hell? Another one? Ah, we're surrounded! Stop whining. This is nothing. Now's our chance. Zephy 
Sophie was so useless. I didn't know what we'd do. But I'm just glad you're okay. I knew you'd come for me. Thank you. Don't worry about it. We don't have time for this. Dragon! Dare you ignore me? How dare you attack the knights before facing me? The knights and the ravens are distracted. Let's run for it. Uh, hold on! Another dragon is coming right this way! Damn it. What shitty luck. The bigger one is looking right at us. We have no choice. We have to fight. <laughs> Wasn't one life-threatening crisis enough for today? Uh, no time to whine about it now! Watch out! <laughs> Occasionally, huh? You will encounter giant dragons that are so large they fight using all three levels, creating a dynamic battle experience. The giant dragon, in addition to its core, also has parts that can be attacked. Destroying a part will seal attacks associated with it and stun the dragon. A giant dragon is defeated once the core reaches zero HP. Developing a strategy to fight its core and body parts will be key to achieving victory. A battle when a character's dragon gauge is completely filled, their dragon awakening is activated, and their dragon's power will be amplified, putting them in a powered up state. Okay, I, I, I get the gist. Let's pump it up. Leave it to me. So is this thing. Does everybody get that core? That's what I'm curious about. I can get even stronger than this. I can become strong? I'm gonna get even more powerful. Did I get stronger? Damn. I forgot I did put it on hard difficulty, so XP <sighs> went up. <sighs> it hurts. What is this feeling? <sighs> 
Hey, are you all right? I don't understand why or how he's able to use magic, but... It seems that in order for him to use it, lots of his energy gets sacrificed in the process. How do you feel? Not bad, not good. Not too bad. I see. My body has so many scars on it. But what is this incredible feeling of elation? <laughs> Who would have imagined what that woman said would be true? That woman? Who's she talking about? I must be old fashioned. I never thought I'd live to see a male witch. What should we call you? There has to be some fun little name we can give you. How about a man witch? Now, Zephy, follow me. Once I hand you over to the Emperor, I will kill you myself. Commander. Are you seriously going to treat me like some lowly witch? <laughs> you are no longer a knight. You are a witch. You will bring calamity to this world. You need to realize that is what you are now. <sighs> She's never going to see me as anything other than a witch. I crossed the line. I can never go back to my old life now. But no matter how awful I become, I can't just throw my life away like it isn't worth anything. And what if I refuse to follow you? Out of the question. You are coming with me, even if I have to force you to do so. C commander please. Our troop has suffered a great loss in this battle with the dragon. I don't think we can take on four witches. I'm not depending on the troops. I will be handling this on my own. Commander, please consider what you're doing. At this rate, our whole troop will be wiped out. If that were to happen, it would negatively impact all future witch hunts. <laughs> Very well. I suppose I'll save the fun for another time. Retreat! Follow the commander! <sighs> Gran? He was my best friend. But I wasn't able to say anything to him. Alright. That just leaves this bunch. <laughs> to be able to take down two dragons at the same time! That's huge! But we've dissected the dragon, sir. Good work. Hey! Those bastards even dissected the dragon that we took down! We'll be using its corpse for more materials for our magical devices. Okay, you bastards. Let's head out. Sir Durandal, one moment, please. What are we going to do about the witches? <laughs> Nothing. What we want are the dragons. Let's hurry up and go home. But, but they did a number on our comrades. We need to exact our revenge. What are you doing? Don't waste your time on these witches. Ruby Eye. We're finished with our business here. Let's move. We have other work to do. God. Come on, move it, you idiots! Let's head out already! Yes, sir! Hmm. Is she a raven, too? I'm not sure. The moment my eyes met hers, though. I felt like a cold hand grabbed a hold of my heart and tore right through it. I know. 
She was very intimidating. If Durandal was following her orders, wouldn't it mean she's the head of the Ravens? <clears throat> what? Uh, I uh, feel so dizzy. Hey! What's going on? Are you okay? <sighs> He's unconscious. I guess it's more than the toll of the magic on his body. He's experiencing a lot of shock right now. You're right. I'm sure a lot of what he's believed in for his entire life was just flipped upside down. We can't just leave him out here, though. Let's take him back to our place. Wait. He's unconscious. We can just leave him here. He doesn't have anything to do with us now. I know, but... I can't just abandon him. I'll carry him, okay? Here, put him on my back. I'm not touching him. All right, all right. Kari Karo, please? You're seriously going to take him home? We already got Lafonet back. We have no reason whatsoever to take him home. But he's not human anymore. You heard what the commander said. He's just like us now. He's a witch. He's not going to have a home to go back to. I doubt any of the villages will want him around. Well, you have a point, but... But nothing. Just hurry up and help me. Fine. <sighs> okay, let's take him. Mm. I have returned, Emperor Pharisaeus. <laughs> Welcome back. I expect you have a new report, hmm? Perhaps about the latest witches you have defeated? <sighs> what is the reason for your silence? Emperor, something unexpected occurred, and we had no choice but to retreat. Oh? And what was this unexpected occurrence? The Ravens. I did tell you, if they caused any commotion, to just ignore them. No, it wasn't them. It grieves me to report that a witch infiltrated our knights. Preposterous. Tell me her name. His name is Zephyr. A male witch? Yes, that is correct. He defected and joined the witches. <laughs> this is fascinating. Emperor Pharisaeus, I assure you that this is no laughing matter. Oh, welcome, Cardinal Sainthood. Have you been listening? If there is something you wish to add, speak. Thank you, Your Majesty. If news spreads to our believers about a witch lurking in the ranks of our knights, it would be very, very bad. Hmm. Yes. I suppose you have a point. Corberia, I order you to head out immediately and capture this Zephy. You need to bring him to me. Yes, sir. Right away. Cardinal Serud, did you hear that? Yes, Emperor Pharisaeus. Then for you, you are to head to Zephy's home and find anything you can pertaining to the witches. As you wish, Your Majesty. Now that I have the Emperor's orders, all that's left to do is capture him. Commander! What is it? Um... What's going to happen to Zephy? How interesting. Why do you ask me this? Do you have plans to save him? Well... Are we done? Or do I have to keep standing here while you continue wasting my time? No! Excuse me. <laughs> what now, Zephy? There is no place for you back here. 
Not with the knights. You'll regret the day you crossed us. I will give you an interrogation you will never forget. Madness level. Emotional stay actions throughout the game will affect it, so pay close attention as you progress. This level is displayed on the top right of the menu. Party members dying in battle using dragon attacks and certain events. Uh, event choices will cause the gauge to fill. Once the gauge reaches a certain level, special events will occur which can greatly affect the end of the story. Oh, does this game have multiple endings? Makes me wonder. Imagine it would. That's actually a kind of cool feature. Yeah, chapter one cleared. <sighs> Vanessa? Are you okay? You're out of breath. Well, carrying around unconscious people can have that effect on you. Can't we just throw this strange man away? I wish. It's too late for that now. Vanessa, I can switch with you if you want. Thank you. I'm okay. It was my idea anyway. It won't be much longer. We're back! Hey everyone, we're back! Welcome back everybody! I'm back too! Oh, I'm really happy to see everyone again! Why did you say it like that? Did something happen, Lapo? Yeah, but it's a long story. I almost thought I wasn't gonna make it. Does this have something to do with that person Manessa is carrying? What the? He's a guy! Is he an informant like that old man? No, he isn't. But yes, he did have something to do with what happened to Laponette. What? Really? Interesting. So what'd he do? I know you all have lots of questions, but can you hold on a second? Let me get him to the sofa first. <clears throat> oh, and I guess he just woke up. Where, where am I? This is where we witches live. We carried your unconscious ass all the way here, so you better be thankful. Huh? I thought Vanessa carried him the whole way here. Sh shut up! The details don't matter. So, this is where the witches live. I searched everywhere just to try to find their home. Who would have thought I'd live to see it? Fate has a funny way of doing things. So who are these other girls? These are young witches that we look after. They're our little sisters. I know you can't really move yet, but if you even think about laying a finger on my little sisters... Don't worry. I'm not here hunting witches. <laughs> Manessa, why did you bring him here? Well, the short of it is, he actually became a witch, just like us. Huh? How? When we were hunting dragons, Laponette got captured by the knights. Karikaro and I were searching for her, but found this knight alone on the verge of death. A dragon had attacked him. Our healing magic didn't work on him because he was in such a bad state. So I made him drink dragon's blood. And then he turned into a witch? Gross! <sighs> the man turned into a witch? Really? I've never heard of that. Not even in any of the books I've read before. If Pio has never heard of it before, maybe it really is that rare. 
part of his hair was always that lighter shade, though. And it seemed like he already had the mark before drinking the blood. The dragon blood might have just been the catalyst to awaken what was already inside him the whole time. That could be a possibility, I suppose. Hey, hey! Listen to yourself! That just sounds crazy, it's impossible! Well, then how would you explain it? It's just some kind of weird mistake. A freak accident. You gave me dragon's blood for crying out loud. Well, however it happened, none of it changes the fact that you're a witch now. Right. Besides, Karikara was just thinking out loud. That's just a theory. <sighs> In any case, there's no way he could go back to the humans. That's why I decided to bring him here. Aww, poor thing. So, what do you plan on doing with me? You can just stay here for a little while. It's not like you have anywhere else to go. That isn't what I asked. Don't misunderstand me, Zephy. I didn't bring you back here so we could use you. But then, why? As long as you don't try to hurt any of us, you're free to come and go as you please. <sighs> Could they really have taken me in just because they felt sorry for me? Monet is very happy to meet you. I'm not as understanding as my sisters are. You better leave here as soon as you recover. Come on, Chiquita. Don't be so rude. Sorry about that. This is a lot of change for all of us. My name's Pio. It's all right. I understand. Hi, everyone. My name is Zephy. Whoa. That's such a weird name. Kikita, be nice. We should talk about what to do next. Although they left him to die, he still belonged to the Knights. I'm a little concerned about what the Empire might be plotting. Need to keep tabs on what the Ravens are planning, too. I didn't think they'd be that much of a nuisance, but. Unfortunately, I think it'll be a while before the informant comes back to visit. Until we get some more information about what's going on out there, I think it'll be pointless to do anything. Maybe we can visit the supply shop and stock up on things in the meantime. Before that, though, we should stop by the Huntery and say hello to Zuba. Good idea. Let's drop by. Uh, so are we going out again? We just got here. Oh, it's not like that. These places are all here in our den. I see. Can I come with you then? Sure. I wanted to introduce you to Zuba and Niamu since you're gonna be here for a while. Yeah, the sooner the better. I'm sure if you ran into Zuba, she might be inclined to kill you on sight if she doesn't know who you are. Let's get going then. We'll be right back, everyone, so you can wait here until we come back. Okay! Witches live in a den, use various amenities, and communicate with the witches here. Returning here will fully recover your party. Save the game a time by pressing square, uh, L1 from the witch's den, and the world map. Cool. Hmm. You guys are still alive? Why do you always think we're gonna die so soon? Hello, Zuba. It's been a while. Have you been eating okay? None of your business. Who's that? I'm Zephy. Ah, you're a witch. Even though you're a man? You can tell just by looking at me? Well, I didn't end up like this because I wanted to. Before I was- Hey, I didn't ask for your life story. I have no interest in you whatsoever. Like I would care about anything other than creating elixirs. <laughs> oh. I see. 
Try not to take it personally. She's cold like this to just about everyone. She doesn't even care about her own life. Honestly, she's so weird. Got it. So, what do you want? If you're here to waste my time, you should just go home. Hey, what's the rush? He might visit in the future, so I wanted to introduce you to each other. Huh, I see. I still don't really know much about this place, but it's nice to meet you. All you need to know is that you are to do what I tell you. Huh? Yes, you will help me. Do that, and I will compensate you with whatever you'd like. If I give you a task you do not know how to do, I suppose you will learn on the job. Got it. Okay, let's get started. Well, that's a direct way to say that you're just my bitch. <laughs> Check on and report quests. Quests that have been completed can be reported in exchange for rewards and new quests. Oh, it's you. <laughs> First mission done. Didn't do shit. So, I need a dragon husk. Wind Star Spirit Stone. Dark Elixir plus one. And a Holy Stone. Rare item. Okay. <sighs> Pretty typical. Pardon me. I heard Manessa and the others come here to prepare for their dragon hunts. I can see why. There's a lot of equipment here. I'm sure I'll be here a while, and I'd like to meet the person who runs this place, but I don't see anyone. Hey! You there! Uh... Wh what is this thing? It looks like a bat, but it has cat ears? Oh well, I can figure that out later. Who are you? Where are you talking from? Don't be so alarmed. I won't eat ya. Yeah, I'm new, and I'm going to be staying here at the den for a while. Anyway, I'm here to meet the shopkeeper named Nyamo. Is he in? He'll be here eventually. Why don't you just look around while you wait? Oh, and it would be very helpful if you could uh, take that box and put it on the shelf. Sure. Hey, this is pretty heavy. Great. Next, can you align the bottles that are up on the shelf? Oh, this? Hey, wait. You're making me get the shop ready for the day. Why am I doing this if I'm the customer? <laughs> I was wondering where you went. What's so funny, Kari Karo? <laughs> you, that's what. You didn't notice at all. <laughs> Goodness, it's hardly that funny. Manessa, what's going on? Allow me to introduce you. This is Nyamo. Aw, why'd you tell him? I wanted him to do a couple more things. What? He's Zuba's pet. Wouldn't you say he's got a bit of a mouth? Just like his owner. You're one to talk. I don't think it's very well known that the pets of witches can speak. Talk, huh? I mean, I'm in a den of witches. I'm bound to see some pretty strange things here. What are you looking at? It's rude to stare. Well, no one told me the shopkeeper was a bat, so I'm a little surprised. Bat? Well, who the hell are you calling a bat? You're such an ugly creature. I can't believe this. You're not a bat? For near sake, isn't it obvious? I'm a cat, you imbecile. You're so rude. We honestly don't know what he. I mean to offend you. My name is Zephy. I used to be with the Knights of Requiem, but I recently became a witch. You became a witch? Oh, this is interesting. I heard you're able to get your hands on things that would help in my travels. 
Whenever I venture outside the den, I'd like to come visit you here. It's nice to meet you. All right, I'll be careful. <laughs> uh, typical shop stuff. Welcome. What do you want? Show see if it was better. Obviously, it won't be. Except for Lafayette. Lafayette. Is she in her room? Oh, um... <gasps> oh, hey! Minasa! Hi, Karikaro! When did you guys get home? Faria, did you go out? Faria, did you go out on your own? We've already been through this. It's not safe for you to do that. Sorry, Manessa, but it's not a good time. Manessa, it seems like she had a reason for doing that. Maybe we should listen to what she has to say. <laughs> Faria, guess what? Manessa brought a man home. Who cares? We don't have time for that. Don't tell me. You couldn't find Ruruda. That's right. Everyone, listen. I can't find Ruruda anywhere. What? When was the last time you saw her? Well, after you left to hunt dragons, she just ran off without telling us. Before we knew it, she was gone. You know, she's been acting a bit gloomy lately. Yeah, she's been really stressed out. She hasn't been eating much either. What? Has she not been eating the dragon meat? I didn't know about that. I've seen her throw food away before. I didn't want to say anything, but I've definitely seen her do that. I've seen her do that too. Why? Why would she do that? She felt the dragon in her tummy move this one time. And since then, she just decided to stop eating dragons. I've been so worried, and I told her that I was. But she said that she was fine. She didn't want me to tell any of you. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. I really should have said something, even though she told me not to. I see. Faria, don't blame yourself. We should have been aware that this was going on. She's right. Don't beat yourself up about it. Aw, she probably just didn't want anyone to worry about her. That's all. Raruda. I'm really upset, but I can't go very far to look for her. Please, save her, Manessa. I'm on it. If she hasn't been eating, we have to make sure we find her right away. This won't end very well if we don't. Right, let's hurry. I have no idea what's going on, but this seems like it's really serious. Hey, witches. You got a minute? Huh? A man's voice. He must be human. Why is he here? What is it? Pardon me. Who's this? 
Hmm, how interesting to find a young man here. Don't ask any questions, informant. Ah, an informant. He's the one everyone's been talking about. But of course, as a client of mine, your wish is my command. I will take your secret to my grave. Yes, I'd appreciate that. Hello, my name's Darn. I'm an informant. It's nice to meet you. An informant who's working with witches? Do you even know how illegal this is? <laughs> Big talk coming from someone who's hanging out in a house full of witches. Uh, that, that's not what I'm doing. Stop talking to him. Have you seen Maruda around? Ruruda. Oh, just earlier today. I saw her near the sanctuary. What? Really? That area is crawling with dragons. If you saw her, why didn't you tell her to come back to the den? I tried to call out to her, but I lost sight of her pretty quickly. Right. Sorry, I just... I understand. You're worried. At least we have an idea of where she is now. Let's go get her. Hold on now. I came with information I recently heard about the Sanctuary. I feel like you should listen to what I have to say before you leave. He seems so sketchy. How can anyone even trust the things he says? Alright. There's a certain witch that will sometimes appear in the area around the sanctuary. She calls herself the Witch of Hellfire. What? Is that really true? It is true. There's a witch out there claiming this. Yes. Is it true she's the real Witch of Hellfire? That I don't know. Wait, so... Is she the Witch of Hellfire, or is she not? Well, listen for... Supposedly... Being the one behind the gruesome uh, carnival of death, she didn't really seem that, uh, evil. Carnival of death? I really want to ask what the hell he's talking about, but I don't want to derail the conversation. I'll have to wait. Oh, so if it was really her... That would mean she'd be around your age, but she seems a bit younger than that. It's nothing. I'm fine. Chin up, girls. There's nothing to worry about. Minissa. The moment Witch of Hellfire was said, Minissa tensed up like crazy. I wonder what that's about. Anyway, if you're heading to the sanctuary, you might run into that witch. Be careful. Okay, thanks. You seem like you're in a rush today, so I'll just charge you for this information later. Pay me back when you can. If I hear anything else, I'll make sure to swing by and let you know. Okay, then. I'm off. And there he goes. Hey, so I know this might not concern me, but can you trust him? You're right. This really doesn't concern you. Well, we don't trust him completely, Zephy, but the information he brings us is reliable. I know how it looks. He's weird. I question his morality every time, but I've never had a reason to question his intel. I see. Well, it makes sense to me. You know, even if he was playing them, I don't know why I should care about it. Why am I trying to watch out for them? Let's go find Riruda. Vanessa, 
Do you want to hang back for this one? We can go find her. No, I want to go. I'm worried about Raruda. Especially if there's a random witch running around. Witch of Hellfire or not. But she's clearly bothered by this. Should I do something? Am I an outsider here and I shouldn't get involved? But I've got nowhere else to be. And I should probably pay her back for saving my life. Hey, do you need a hand with this? Huh? You saved my life. I owe you one. I don't want to feel indebted to you, and I want to pay you back somehow, so... Repayment? Isn't the issue here. Can you even move? Yeah, Kirikara's right. You fainted on the way here, remember? Ah, right. I forgot about that. Oh, come on. What the hell? Think of it this way. I've recovered to the point where I don't feel any pain at all. Maybe he woke up as a fully realized witch. And now his recovery is much better. If there's even the slightest chance we see the Witch of Hellfire, it'd be wise that we have more battle ready people with us. Fine. You can come. Awesome. Let me make this clear to you. If you hold us back or become a burden, in any way, I'm going to kill you on the spot, got it? I'll remember that. Alright, girls. Be strong. Hold down the fort while we're gone. Okay. Please take care of Ruta. Be careful out there. Thanks, Lynette. I'm sure we'll be okay. There you go. You're the oldest one here, so you're in charge while we're gone. Keep everyone safe, okay? Yeah, I know. I will. Please bring Ruta back safely. We will. She's gonna be okay. We should get going now. Right. It seems everyone really likes this Ruta girl. I hope we can bring her back safely. <coughs> Ugh. Excuse me. So this is the map, huh? Yeah, I can see this game being short then, if this is all it is. Force the judgment to the sanctuary cave. So, uh, first impression so far, because we're at the end of the video. Um, gonna try doing this for every series. I started the first impressions from now on, uh, so people kind of get a grasp of what I think of it. And then, of course, you know, final review once we beat the game. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, I really like it. I mean, I'm always about dragons. I'm a big dragon nut. So, this game hits a special spot with me. Uh, that has a, a pretty attractive level for my, my type of tastes. For Idea Factory, Idea Factory is behind, like some of the Neptunia info. Uh, basically, their games look like this a lot. Um, I think Fairy Fencer F was what, another... another one that was created by Idea Factory, which wasn't too bad. Played it way back when it first came out on the PS4. That one was good. So, I don't know. I, I personally like Idea Factory, and definitely excited to get into this one. Uh, battle system seems pretty solid and the story is actually pretty decent. Uh, like I said, don't know how long this game's going to be, but we're definitely going to give it a full run for its money. Um, but yeah, fortunately I am at the end of this episode so we'll be ending this one here. Uh, I am following my schedule to a T from now on. So the ones 
that have been paying attention to my schedule, I have it up on my Twitch account and my YouTube in the discussion forums. So if you guys are curious on when I'm playing something, on what day, it's all there. I'm going to be following it to a T, playing those exact games at those exact times. So, upcoming next is another episode of Dragon Star Varnier, which we'll continue from where we left off here, and then later on tonight will be Super Neptunia RPG, which will be our last video of the night. Most likely, there's a chance that I might play something else, because there's an open window for me after that. Um, but yeah, definitely stay tuned. I will be right back. I'm going to take my break that I have scheduled in and kind of do some stuff. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. So, see you guys later.